Recently, the federal government said it will remove fuel subsidy in 2022. Right now, we are on the of Abuja to find out from Nigerians how they are preparing for the subsidy removal. Do join me as we listen to what Nigerians have to say. I don't think um, it's worth preparing for because to me, I, I stand among those who reject the, the removal of subsidy without any arrangement. Nobody is prepared for it here. Things are difficult in Nigeria. People are going through hell. Removing subsidy right now is the worst thing that you can do to, any, to the people. That's the truth. Because we know the ripple effect of that. I think Nigerians are already used to enduring, should I say, difficulty or hardship. So removing the subsidy in 2022 is still like we are still going through the difficult times. And sincerely, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want that to happen because a lot of people are suffering. As an individual, I am, I am prepared. Uh, first of all, uh, within my income, I thank God the, for the opportunity I have. I know that uh, it's going to be, uh, I mean, devastating. We know that uh, the situation is not going to be easy for anyone. And Nigeria is uh, such a country that uh, anything goes. The government plans the economy. There are too many conflicting ideas here. Uh, they, they, what they believe, we, we, it's a kind of comfort to us. But for them, for, for the government's angle, they think it probably is the best method or best way of managing the economy. So there's nothing we can do. That's just the reality. All of us, we know what happened uh, during Jonathan era. When uh, Jonathan tried to remove subsidy, the price of things escalated in the market. And uh, the, the ripple effect of that, I'm not sure in Nigeria right now. No Nigerian will, will handle that right now. It's a, a serious news and we must be ready for it. Uh, we must uh, try as much as possible to avoid unnecessary spending. That's the first thing. To me, I will only tell you that I'm prepared to reject it and not accept it. In I don't know about this government because I can't trust them. Honestly, that's my personal opinion. I don't trust this administration and I can't trust them because they, they lack managerial skill. They lack leadership. As far as I'm concerned, this government lacks leadership. They lack managerial skill. So I can't trust anything they are profile, anything they are... They, 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 they are doing or they want to do. That's it for me. The rich are still living their lives. They are still happy. They, are, they could still afford the necessities of life, but the poor, the masses are suffering. So I want the government to look for an alternative means to generate revenue instead of adding, instead of removing subsidies, because the poor masses are still the ones that, that will suffer it. My, my advice for the government is to try to fix our refineries and try to encourage private investors, private investors into the refineries. So that the investors will have modular refineries so that we can, we'll be able to produce enough for domestic consumption. Let the government empower, be sincere to the people. That's just the word, be sincere to the people. Tell the people what you want to do and let your intention be right. You understand? Have your intentions, let it be right and carry the people along. Larry Jabi Taufik, reporting live for the Sun TV. <music>